Well, hello everybody. Hope you're all good. Hope everything's well. It's another different Samba thing to look at today, and we're going to look at something called Matchbox Samba. So I'm not quite sure where Matchbox Samba comes from. Uh, there are there are hundreds of different types of Samba. We've mostly been looking at a Carnival Samba-like thing. That's been the basis sort of, of what I've been looking at, and Matchbox Samba doesn't, doesn't necessarily belong in there, uh, you wouldn't see it in the, you wouldn't see it in the, in the carnival procession, um, although the patterns within it are, are very, they are very at home within it, so uh, the, the accents and the tones can be found elsewhere within the ensemble, but I thought the Matchbox Samba might be a good one to, to look at because I was hoping that it, it might be fairly easy to find or, or make something to use uh, because a lot of households might have uh, matches in them in terms of a Matchbox or something you can approximate a Matchbox with. So I don't have a Matches for whatever reason. I do have my picture hooks again which I'm going to use as a Matchbox. The, Things you really need to have uh, tonally for this, with the sounds, is you have to have a surface that you can strike to get a percussive sound. So it's got a little box. If I was going to make a matchbox sound where I didn't have it, I've got a piece of packaging here that would probably do the trick. So that's the percussive sound without anything shaky. So we want to put something shaky in there. Yeah, so you need the strike sound, whatever you want to use, and the shake sound. Uh, so you can, I, I was hoping that that would be something easy for you to do. Uh, always bearing in mind, uh, necessary safety around matches. They wouldn't catch fire when you play matchbox sample with them in there because they, they may not to... Uh... I've got a very convoluted story about why I know this, but they... Uh... I won't bore you with it right now. They they won't... When they're in travel, in transit, if, if they're being shaken, they, they won't set each other on fire. But of course, yeah, there are other dangers of matches, so be safe, but... Or just use other stuff. But anyway, anyway, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Matchbox Samba, let's do this. We have four, we're working in the semi-quaver feel. So when you have the, the metronome going, we're on our one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So each metronome pulse is subdivided into four for us when we're going one e and two e and a three e and a four e and a. That's the semi quaver feel, and we've got a note on each one of those. The first note is a strike. The second note is the upwards shake. The third one is the downward shake, and the fourth one is another strike. Strike up, down, strike. That's one unit of the rhythm and it repeats the same every bar so it goes one up down strike strike up down strike strike up down strike strike uh, so it's just worth um keeping in mind that because it you have those two consecutive notes of strike it can feel almost like it's it's easy to to slip, uh, well, at least I found it easy to slip when I was when I was learning um, out of what it's supposed to be with with the the second of the two strikes being on the beat beat beat. Um, maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, strike up down strike strike up down. So you notice there when when I was going. When you go too slowly, you can't get the 
you can't get the up without without the things falling down within the box so that's just part of the process um, when you get up to 80 beats per minute which is what this uh, speed we need To, to control the to, to get that that up on its own although actually this is something that is marginally easy to play once you practice it's easier to control when it's going fast but we're fine we're fine 80 beats per minute um, perhaps you could change the angle if we're having trouble with the the up, the up and down of uh, the matchbox. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, I've got my, my Pandero here, uh, which is something we're going to talk about in future weeks, but uh, matchbox samba can sound a bit more sambry on this, um, where you can control the pitch as well. So we can have a, we can have two low tones and then two high tones, or two high tones and then two low tones, like. So yeah, I mean, I suspect it comes from a Pandero uh, pattern of a certain type of samba, but maybe you can find out. Maybe you can do. Maybe you can teach me something. I would. I would like that. But yeah. Any problems? Do get in touch. And if not, I'll see you next time for looking at a different samba instrument. And do keep your submissions coming because I think it's uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to make something cool. So take care. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.